嬉しいかい悲しいかい結構結構踊れ踊れサムアミザブトサム踊れ Hi My name is Yuki Sugahara of Oregon Buddhist Temple in Portland, Oregon. In Japan, we have obon services at the temple, but the ministers also visit the each houses during obon time too. My home temple in Shimane Prefecture is located in the mountain, and it is in the area of deep population that we don't have to go to 300 or 400 houses, but I visit it around 100 houses in three days every year. After three days, my ankles and knees were hurt from sitting on knees. So I am really glad that BCA don't have this tradition. My grandfather recommended me to chant one of the sections of Amira Sutra during the visitation. And this section talks about all the Buddhas praising and recommending us to entrust ourselves to the working of Amira Buddha. And my grandfather recommended this section, not only because this short section is short, but also important part during this Obon season. In our tradition, we are taught that our loved ones who have passed away before us became Buddha. And just as Shakyamuni Buddha shared the teaching with the others, all the Buddhas, including our loved ones who have passed away, are recommending us and guiding us to the path of Nembutsu. And they take various forms, such as memories. They are in the things and places they loved. They teach us how we cannot take our lives for granted and they are also wishing us to be born into the pure land of Amida Buddha by entrusting ourselves to the working of Amida's primal vow in the name Namo Amida Butsu. So I don't deny or refuse the custom or culture of burning welcome fire or sending fire or preparing any vegetable animals for our ancestors to ride back home. But from our tradition's perspective, we don't have to prepare that kind of things because our loved ones who have passed away are not here only during Obon season, but they are always here with us as Buddha, the working to lead us to the path of Nembutsu. And when I first served Buddhist Church of Florin in California, Reverend Bob Oster was my mentor, and he said something like this in memorial service. None of our loved ones who have passed away before us wanted to be the cause of our sadness. And I thought that is true. Of course, it is sad to experience separation from our loved ones but they are always here with us as Buddha, wishing us to listen to the teaching and wishing us to live as happily as we can. So I believe Obon dance is a great opportunity to show how we are enjoying our lives to our loved ones. So it is not about how good we dance or how we are bad at dancing, like me, but we just express the joy and happiness of living through dancing. So this year, we are not able to gather and dance together, but I hope many people will express the joy and happiness through dancing virtually during this time of all home. So thank you for listening. These movements are based on 
the immigrants, our first immigrants, the Issei, that came from Japan to help establish our America, to have given us the opportunities of which we are enjoying today. It is also a connection of creating community. It is, I, I wanted to create this piece actually in dedication for the first immigrants, for the kind of movement in, in the type of work that they did. But this is kind of dedicated to all of our stories of being immigrants here in America. It is also, I felt like it needed another voice. Um, we were dancing a lot of wonderful, rich tradition of our Obon Odori here in America. And I wanted to dedicate this to our cultural past. So this is Ejinaika. The phrase Ejinaika is actually from Awa Odori. It's from Shikoku. And actually, the phrase means, oh, what the heck? <laughs> but I really like to take it to its real, breaking it down to its literal meaning. Isn't it good? To remind ourselves everything is good. It's how we kind of shift our mind into thinking how things are good. So here we're going to break it down. Um, the digging to the right, dig, dig, and then we're going to pick to the left, pick, pick. The digging is in commemoration of the farming, picking, and picking at the uh, mines, in the mines, okay? So we're going to do pick, pick, oh, sorry, erase. We we'll start with dig to the right and pick to the left. So. Ready. And dig to the right. And pick to the left. One more time. I dig to the right. And pick to the left. Okay. Stop. <laughs> and then we also had many of our immigrants doing fishing. And so we're, the next movement is reeling in the fish net. Many people might make it look like Motown. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> but you're reeling in the nets from the sea. So it looks like this. So, they and right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot. Okay. One more time. Turn around. So, they and right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot. So you have to imagine like actually working, like pulling something in. You're not really use your muscles in there to show that you're pulling in that rich catch of fish. Okay, let's uh, put it together from the top. So, uh, they and dig, dig and pick, pick, uh, dig, dig, pick, gather, 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 up, gather, 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 up. Okay, good. Now, when you work, you sweat. <laughs> so we're going to sweat to the right and sweat to the left. So your, your right hand is going up on your forehead. Your left hand is going on the small of your back. And you're going to just take four steps. One, two, three, tap. Left, two, three, tap. Oh, when you come back, switch your hand. So it's one, two, three, tap, switch hands, tap, okay? <laughs> we only sweat once to the right, each way, right, okay? Sweat, the sweat, so, ready, and right, two, three, tap, left, two, and stop. Let's put it together from the top, so, ready, and dig. Dig and pick, pick and dig, dig and pick, pick, gather, gather the net, and gather the net, switch to the right, one, two, three, tap, one, two, three, tap, okay, what else do we have to do, oh yes, okay, this next one, <laughs> thank you for coaching me, uh, <laughs> this is what I call big circle, to the right, big circle to the left, big circle to the right, big circle to the left. So, I did this in commemoration for my grandpa. 
who works for the Southern Pacific Railroad. And um, when I grew up, he was a hunchback. He was an engine wiper. And so I felt like no matter how we regard our labor, our workers, you know, it's not menial labor. He is steering the economy of our nation. <laughs> that is why these big movements, it's like you're at the wheel and you are taking ourselves from here to the future. So your legs will go out. I'm sorry. Okay? Now let's put together the right of the arms and the feet. So, they and paste it all together so far. So, they and dig, dig and pick, pick and dig, dig and pick, pick and gather, gather, gather up, gather, gather, gather. Sweat to the right, sweat to the left. Big wheel. Big wheel, big wheel, big wheel, big wheel. We're at the very last movement. So if you don't get it today, it's okay. <laughs> the main thought is that you are throwing this huge fishing net out into the sea and that it requires like a whole team on the side of the boat to throw this big net to catch the big fish for the village. Okay, so this is what it looks like. So, ready, hi. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I know, it's, oh my God. <laughs> so watch um, Matt here to my right. He will wind up one, two, three, four, pitch out, okay? So your arms are like, you know, if you had like this bag with fruit in it and you wanted to throw it out there, <laughs> in order to wind up, you have to go backwards, right? And throw it out. So here we are. It's gonna be one, two, three, pivot, one, two, three, out, okay? So two big circles to your left, and then two big circles to your right, and then you throw out on eight. Okay, could you do that? Watch Matt. So, ready, hi. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One last time, and then we're gonna paste it all together. So, ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight. All right. Bring the fish home. Okay, from the top, let's just do from the top. So, ready, and dig, and pick, and dig, and pick, and gather, 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 up, gather, gather. Sweat to the right. One, two, three, tap. One, two. Big wheel, big wheel. Big wheel, big wheel, big wheel. Throw the net out to sea.
Hi, I'm Junko Kajita from the Buddhist Temple of San Diego. The dance I'd like to share with you is called Akachan Ondo. Akachan Ondo literally means baby dance, but the lyrics tell us to dance like a baby with happiness and a smile. This dance is very special to me because it was choreographed by my Odori Sensei, the late Michiko Ikeda. Her natori name was Fujima Kansuju. She created this dance for the Arizona Buddhist Church Bonodori back in the 1970s, and recently it's been included in the Southern District repertoire of dances. So for this dance, we use our kachi kachi, and we're gonna wait three eight counts. There's a long introduction, and we have to wait a three eight counts before we start our dance. So I'm gonna back up and um, try to dance in a small circle here. Not really big, but um, we'll try to do that. So it starts out with our hands, and we're holding our kachi kachi, resting on our hips. We wait three eight counts, and then the first step would be to step forward with our right foot. Not really putting our whole weight down on it, but just putting it forward. And then we're going to take our right hand, bring it over to our left side, and click our kachi kachi three times as we swing our arm around. One, two, three, pause, and then back on our hip as we bring our right foot back. We're going to do the same thing on the other side with our left hand. Step forward with your left foot. One, two, three, pause, bring our left foot back, and our hand goes back to our waist. Okay, so it looks like this. One, two, three, and one, two, three. Okay? So our next step is to make four moves. So when we make our moves, we start with our palms up, we bring it down, and then we form a circle with our arms, which is the move, and palms up, and we click again. And we're going to walk forward, starting with our right foot as we do that. And I like to take a little lead-off step first. So I take a little lead-off step with my left foot as I bring my hands down. And then when I bring my hands up in my circle, I finish off with my step forward with my right foot. So we do that four times. Down and left. Down and right. Down and left. Okay? So the next step is to go back four steps, right and left, and right and left. And as we do that, we're going to put our hands together in front of us and then open them up as we bring our foot back. The right hand is a little bit higher and the left, left hand is down low. Do the same thing on the right side. And open, try to gather and open, to gather and open. Four steps. The next step, we're going to swing our arms from right to left and make a half moon on the right side. So we take steps with our, swing our arms from right to left also. Right, left, right. Make a half moon with your right arm and you tap with your left foot. And you finish off. Same thing on the other side. Left, right, left. Half moon on the left side. Click. And now we're going to do quick steps, right, left, right, and then we're going to put our hands in front of us and pull our arms down as we click three times. So it looks like this. Right, left, down, 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 right, going forward, left, down, down, down four times, that's two, right, left, down, 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 that's three, right, left, down, 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 that's four, and then we're back to the beginning. So let me go through the whole dance again without the music, just so that you can see what it looks like, okay? Wait, three, eight counts, and we start our first step. One, two, three, and one, two, three, four moves. One, two, three, four, that's four. Down, 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 that's two. Five, down, 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 three. 
come back to the beginning. And root. Okay, let's try it with the music.
My name is Chris Dart, and I'm the Bono Dori Sensei at the Oregon Buddhist Temple. Welcome to my backyard. We are going to learn today a dance called Bon Odori Song. It was written and performed in 2019 by Cecilia Ng, who writes folk songs. It's an American folk song, so it's just Cecilia and her guitar. Elaine Warner and I did the uh, choreography on it, and I just love the lyrics. There's more information up on our website, OregonBuddhistTemple.com, Obon Fest, Obon Dances. Uh, as just before we start, that's inside the circle, that's outside the circle. Okay? It starts inside the circle with a cut and chon, turn, cho chon, ga chon. And then the next movement is kai guri. Kai guri right, kai guri left. And then ga sho. And then for ga sho, you put your right foot forward. Your left foot joins your right foot, and you come together in a circle at the top, down into gasho on five, six, and then up in gratitude on seven, eight. And then you do a soa ake left, soa ake right, and then into the circle and back again. Then we do the chorus. And that goes, life is a circle, so it's a big circle to the right, Big circle to the left, and then you go to the outside circle and you greet two, two, three, four, and then you express gratitude and love. This is the American Sign Language sign for love, and then you go around in a circle and celebrate one, two, three, tap, two, two, three. So you're facing the chair again, cut and chone. Cho chon turn ga chon. Okay? That's the stanza and the chorus. And you can do the same stanza movements on all four stanzas. The alternative is this. Cecilia refers to several dances we have done. It starts out with the baseball dance, and then it's Nobuko Miyamoto's Motai Nai, which I know we've all done. It then is a dance that was written and performed in Portland called Portland Mochitsuki Ondo. Uh, the next one is Shiawase Samba. And then we do the Wakayama Bird from Bambutsu no Tsunagari. And then we finish with Tankobushi. So it looks like this. You start out with catch two, three, four, hit 
two, three, four. Scoop, two, three, four. Pound, two, three, four. Samba, two, three, four. Bird, two, three, four. Dig, 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 dig. Uh, it takes a little practice. Everybody messes up. And at Oregon Buddhist Temple, we just say, you know, if you mess up, have a good giggle and keep on going. Kind of like life. So we'll start the music and we'll dance this to the music. Enjoy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cut and chong. Cho chong, ga chong. Kai goody right. Kai goody left. Ka sho two, three. Five, six, seven, eight. So what I can left, so what I can right. Into the circle and back again. Chorus. Circle left. Three, two. Three, two, three, four. Gratitude. Flow. Celebrate. Five, six, seven, eight. Cut. And chong, chong chong, ga chong, kai guri right, kai guri left. We dance with joy in life before death's dark door. The memory of hatred gives way to love of friends, and we will dance together till the end. All life is a circle of darkness and light, so join us in our circle on this joyous night. The lanterns are our memories of joy and love. So dance in our circle while they shine above. Yes, we join in the circle for the oval dance. With the grandmothers we follow as we dare to take a chance. And nobody cares if you dance right or wrong. Just dance to the rhythm of the song. Four. So we'll dance playing baseball as we hit home <laughs> runs. We dance to recycle and to pound mochi buns. We samba and fandango to soon we hear the call for the coal oh, miners dance the last of all. All life is a circle of darkness and light. So join us in our circle on this joyous night. The lanterns are our memories of joy. We'll be dancing that first, the Bon Odori song, an American folk song about Bohom and Bon Odori. Lyrics and music were written and will be performed by Cecilia Ng, who has danced Bon Odori since she was a child and for the last 20 years or so at OBT. Chris Dart and Elaine Werner created the choreography, and one of the phrases in the song is, nobody cares if you dance right or wrong, which is an important concept in Bon Odori. This is not performance dance, but dancing for joy with the community. So get in the ring, ladies and gentlemen, and start the Obon Odori Uta. For teaching us to live a better life So we welcome and cherish their memories this night Before they return into the light All life is a circle of darkness and light So join us in our circle on this joyous night The lanterns are our memories of joy and love So dance in our circle while they 